Welcome to Vacuum Wars. Today we are reviewing the Bissell Icon Pet Cordless Stick Vacuum Cleaner 22889. It's Bissell's newest and I think their best cordless vacuum yet. We put it through all of our usual tests and this video will show the results and explain the pros and cons of buying one. So links in the description and let's get started. Starting off with the pros, the Bissell Icon Pet does its main job really well, which is picking up debris on the surface of carpet and hard floors. It has a nice big front gate where large debris is funneled into and it's a pretty good design overall. We tested the Bissell Icon Pet on its low and high power settings, though there are technically three power settings, low, medium, and high. In any case, there wasn't much of a difference on the power settings with larger debris, though as we'll see later in the airflow tests, its low power is pretty low. And especially on hard floors, I noticed that heavy, fine debris like sand sometimes took two passes to get on low power. So basically, I would recommend using medium or high power if you have a lot of hard floors. But yeah, it was pretty impressive in terms of debris pickup, and its handling was pretty good too. Speaking of handling, I really liked the feel of the Icon Pet more than previous Bissells, and it was quite a bit lighter than many of its competitors as well, but I also liked that the handle curved over the top, which gives you the option to hold it from the side or from the top to have a better center of balance, which makes it easier on the forearm, something I really wish other cordless vacuums would do. But yeah, it was light and its swivel was smooth and accurate. One of the biggest pros with the Bissell Icon Pet though is its ability to resist pet hair tangles. Basically, hair wrap on brush rolls has been a fact of life since the inception of vacuum cleaners, but recently a handful of companies have been trying out methods to combat this, and Bissell is one of the best. We tested this by spreading out one gram of five inch hair, which was picked up with no tangles. So we upped it to one gram of 14 inch hair, something that is very difficult to do, and it also perfectly picked it up with no tangles. So I'm not sure where its limit is, but it's more than these tests, which means that unless you operate a pet groomer business, this will work for your situation, and it might even work for that situation. The next pro was filtration. I've become something of a filtration snob since starting this channel, and I've seen how important it is to buy a vacuum that has a sealed system with a good filter, otherwise you're pretty much just putting what you vacuum up back into the air, and for the most part, most cheaper cordless vacuums are not sealed. So I was happy to see that the Bissell Icon Pet passed our fog test with no visible fog, so it wasn't necessary to do the more in-depth dry particle test. Basically, even though the post motor filter isn't technically a HEPA filter on the Icon Pet, it's very close to a HEPA, but more importantly, it's a true sealed system, so it does the job and it's a great choice if filtration is important to you. I like that the attachment set included a motorized pet tool for upholstery or stairs or car cleaning or whatever, which is a valuable addition. I like the huge bank of bright LED lights, which I find extremely helpful. If you haven't vacuumed with LED lights before, you'll be surprised how much it helps. The final positive thing is the battery life. Bissell says it can get 55 minutes on low power with the cleaner head, 32 minutes on medium power, and 18 minutes on high power which I was able to confirm in our tests. Basically, these are really good battery life numbers when compared to other cordless vacuums. Almost an hour on low and 18 minutes on high power are great numbers. Though, as we'll see in the next section, it's mostly because the power output is quite low. So moving on to the cons, the main thing I didn't like was that it wasn't a particularly powerful vacuum. We measured its suction and airflow at various places and on all the settings and found that it had 44 inches of suction on high power. Its airflow at the head ranged from 18 CFM to 26 CFM, which is pretty low, lower than most cordless vacuums on the market. Now, as we've seen, the Bissell Icon Pet is really well designed with things like the seal on the floor head, the minimal gate to retain airflow, and the super well-designed brush roll, all of which which means it doesn't need to be very powerful in order to do the job of picking debris up, and I'm sure it was a strategic decision on Bissell's part to keep the airflow down in order to give people the maximum battery life. That being said, this lack of airflow showed up in a couple of ways, including in the crevice pickup test, where it wasn't able to get the debris from the quarter inch crevice, no matter how many passes I made, and in the carpet deep clean test where it scored 87. I should mention that 87 on this test was actually pretty good considering the power, much better than I would have guessed. So again, kudos to the engineers at Bissell for getting the absolute most out of the available airflow. Some of my other cons are a bit nitpicky, but here they are. I didn't like that the battery was not removable. It's just a personal preference of mine to be able to remove and replace the battery if I want to. 
I like the newly engineered bin because it makes debris less likely to get stuck, but it was a bit smaller and a bit harder to open than some of its competitors. It comes with a cool stand where you can connect the cord to charge it at the same time, but if you wanted to set it aside to move furniture or something while you're working, it's not very stable when leaning against a wall. So I would say that without question, this is the best cordless vacuum from Bissell that I've tested so far. I love its pickup ability. I love how incredibly good it is at resisting pet hair tangles. I'm very excited to see a Bissell cordless that can pass our filtration tests, and I love the battery life numbers. It doesn't have a lot of power, but the design of the hardware seems to make up for it, and in general, I genuinely liked vacuuming with the Bissell Icon Pet. Links in the description, and be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars, as I only have one other cordless vacuum to test before our big end of the year best cordless vacuum video. Thanks for watching.